the new look of an old landmark. The renovation of the half-kilometre-long Federbe Bridge, an emblem of Senegal's former colonial capital St. Louis, is almost complete. For more than a century, the structure has provided a vital link between the island city and the mainland, but after years of use, it had fallen badly into disrepair. It was terrible because there were people who wanted to get to work, but they couldn't because sometimes the roads were impassable. The project's taken nearly three years and cost $40 million. When work began, the bridge was close to collapse and all seven supporting arches had to be replaced with new versions built in France. The underwater work was the most difficult. The concrete moulds and above all the concrete shafts which are very complex. The bridge first opened in 1897 and was named after a former governor of the city. Today it carries up to 22,000 vehicles and 80,000 people daily back and forth. For many, the structure is more than just a means to get from A to B. It's a source of local pride. It's the image most identified with St. Louis. When you publish a document or do a story on St. Louis, it's about the Fadeau Bridge. St. Louis was the first French settlement in sub-Saharan Africa and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's hoped the strengthened bridge will help serve the old city for many years to come.